we're good. Welcome back, everyone, to Wasteland Active Radio. I'm going to get right into it because, oh boy, have we had an uh, interesting week. I'm sure you all remember last week's weather forecast. There's a lot of high temperatures and error weather condition not found. Well, turns out the unknown weather condition was a rad storm. You know, those times when the sky turns all sickly green, and with matching lightning that makes sounds like an old sci-fi flick turned up too loud. Makes your head hurt, your stomach churn, but that's mostly due to the fact that you're pretty much getting bombarded by enough radiation that you become the equivalent of a fly trapped in a gas station microwave while it's heating up a frozen nine-layer El Fuego-level spicy burrito. Needless to say, that amount of radiation ain't good for most people. The first day, everything was looking great. Morale was up, and productivity was in overdrive. The dashwoods had finished the wall around the station, even gotten the gate up on its hinges. Raiders had been pelting us with pot shots the whole time they were working on the wall, but they all went and hid when we got the gate done, and our snipers started taking them out as we learned all their hiding spots. <laughs> uh, it was great. But then the first storm rolled in, killed the mood quicker than your drunk uncle at your sister's wedding reception. We all locked the gates and hit the Rad X hard. Thought we were good for the day. The rest of the week was bathed in green. Everyone was exhausted. They were dropping like flies after the Rad X ran out. We had just enough Rad away to keep most of the Dashwoods and all the Charleston family, the farmers, alive. Really looked like they weren't going to make it until the storm broke. We lost a lot of good people, and here, in memoriam, are their names. Derek the Can Olson, Tommy the Merc, Big Jerry Bigman, Dr. Delilah Liberty, King Jack Queens, Brian J.K. McVeigh, and Tall Eric. Rest in peace, friends. You won't be forgotten. As for myself and the other ghouls on the Dashwoods, we, uh, don't like to say it out loud, but physically, we're feeling pretty great. I've only slept maybe three or four hours in total this week, but it's only because I wake up after an hour feeling amazing. Which is great, because I spent the whole week outside with Bucket, updating its weather database every couple of hours. This is only the only place that wasn't as hot as a microwave oven. The wind picked up and beat against the walls. Start up a dust storm for a couple hours later in the week. It wasn't a pretty sight, and a couple of the Dashwoods have been working on building a memorial wall for everyone who's died trying to put this outpost together. If you've got some experience with stonework, we'd appreciate a little help on that front. Nonetheless, we made it out mostly intact. We're picking up back where we left off. As for Bucket, I think it's the perfect time to bring him back in to give us a weather forecast. All right. Now's your chance to prove yourself, Bucket. Let's see whether or not I wasted a week outside. Bucket, start the weekly forecast. Running weather forecasting program for week of error. Calendar script not found. Year of error. Calendar script not found. Do you wish to continue weather forecasting program? Son of a... Yes, run program. Acknowledged. Currently, the temperature is 87 degrees Fahrenheit, with a high of 87 degrees Fahrenheit, and a low of 81 degrees Fahrenheit. Clear skies and heavy winds gusts of up to 24 to 30 miles per hour. Monday, the temperature will have a high of 78 degrees Fahrenheit, with a low of 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Slightly cloudy with light winds. 12% chance of light rain. Tuesday, the temperature will have a high of 72 degrees Fahrenheit, with a low of 68 degrees Fahrenheit. 
overcast with light winds. 45% chance of light rain. Wednesday, the temperature will have a high of 67 degrees Fahrenheit with a low of 62 degrees Fahrenheit. Overcast with, with light to heavy winds. 47% chance of gusts up to 22 to 25 miles per hour between 1200 hours and 1600 hours. Thursday, the temperature will have a high of 68 degrees Fahrenheit with a low of 63 degrees Fahrenheit. Overcast with heavy winds. Gusts of up to 24 to 25 miles per hour starting at 0, 642 hours. I have been deactivated for over, over 200 years. This exceeds the average human life expectancy. Previous user log is 93.75% obsolete. Friday, the temperature will have a high of 65 degrees Fahrenheit with a low of 62 degrees Fahrenheit. Overcast with heavy winds, gusts of up to 30 to 31 miles per hour. Light rain starting at 0, 436 hours. Saturday, the temperature will have a high of 64 degrees Fahrenheit with a low of 59 degrees Fahrenheit. Overcast with light winds. Scattered showers beginning at 0, 913 hours. Forecast complete. Move along, please. All right. Thank you, Bucket. How do you feel about your accuracy there? Unable to process command. Feel. This unit's weather forecasting program is 98% accurate. Do you have any proof to back that up? Please refer to user handbook for details of this unit's programming. I, uh, don't have the user handbook. Your lack of knowledge will leave me beyond maintenance. Uh, Bucket, go back to your charging station. Moving along. B please All right, sorry for that, folks. I still haven't worked out all of the kinks, but let's hope for the best. And that bucket isn't in defeat. Anyway, let's move on to the news. All right, news. And local news. A merchant caravan arrived this morning and is setting up for the next couple of days. To be completely honest, we're probably going to buy everything they've got before they decide to leave. We aren't exactly swimming in caps out here, but between all of us, these merchants are going to have a profitable week. We've got a little bit of everything. Food, drinks, dr medicine, uh, medicine, like badly needed right away, uh, guns, ammo, you name it. I've picked up a few things myself, like basic necessities, and definitely not a handful of jet and day tripper. Don't do drugs, kids. Stay in school. In other news, now that the walls are up, the Dashwoods are working on building some actual permanent living structures. They did pretty good with the walls and the gates, but they're really more handy with the guns than a hammer and nails. So the Dashwoods have asked me to put out a call for carpenters, or other people experienced in building living spaces. So, if you like putting roofs over people's heads, come on down and lend a hand. We've got plenty of room for you and your families, and you get the opportunity to help a settlement grow. In related news, we've got us a plumber. I'd like to cordially welcome Louis Zucchero to the settlement. As soon as he got the go-ahead by the Dashwoods to move in, he put himself to work, making a plan on getting us clean water. Let's all wish him luck, 
and lend some hands if you're so inclined. Well, that about does it for news. The rad storms kept most of the people close to home all week, so we're a bit slow today. Sorry, folks. To make up for it, I'll read a couple more ads for you today. Today's episode of Wasteland Active Radio is brought to you by the following sponsors. Kid Genius Science Kit by Kirby and K Toys. In time for the holiday season, the Kid Genius Science Kit comes with a booklet of fun and fascinating activities and everything you need to do them. From miniature volcanoes and a working compass to building your very own fusion core. Recommended for ages 12 and up, only $299.99. Order one from your local toy store by November 19th to receive a 20% rebate. Uh, this is awkward. Right under that is a recall notice for the Kid Genius Science Kit by Kirby and K Toys. This kit comes with a sample of highly radioactive material used in building the kit's fusion core. I can't imagine why. Also brought to you by Super Duper Mart. This weekend, the Oak Street Super Duper Mart in Elmhurst will be having a sale on Salisbury steak. For every two frozen Salisbury steaks you purchase, you will receive a third one for free. This deal won't last, so come on down to the Super Duper Mart on Oak Street in Elmhurst. I don't trust meat that's still edible after 200 years. I've eaten some questionable meat, but at least I know where it came from. We're also brought to you by Handy Henry's Tool and Toe. Opening in Edwardsville this Saturday, Handy Henry's Tool and Toe is your one-stop shop for all things handy. Boasting the widest range of tools for any need. From carpentry and masonry, to lights and land, and so much more. Come to Henny Henry's Tool and Toe today. Uh, Maybe I should bring this up to the Dashwoods. Might be some useful supplies if it's close enough and hasn't been picked clean. Wasteland Active Radio is also brought to you by Paradise Brand Shampoo and Conditioner. Are your locks not quite as luscious as they once were? Shedding more than the family dog? Does your hair double in size at the slightest hint of humidity? If so, Paradise Brand Shampoo and Conditioner may be for you. Infused with nutrients from only the highest quality exotic plants from the tropical Amazon rainforest, our shampoo will not only clean, but strengthen your hair, and our conditioner will leave your locks smooth and silky cascading down your shoulders like a tropical waterfall. Paradise brand shampoo and conditioner. Give your hair a taste of paradise. Hmm. Nice imagery there, if I do say so myself. Cascading like a tropical waterfall down your shoulders. Dear. Oh, baby. Uh, I mean, um, uh, let's just move on. Um, hmm. Uh, we're also brought to you by Happy Pet, Pet and Supply Store. Are you looking for a new family friend? Or maybe you need food and toys for the pets you already have. We have it all at Happy Pet, Pet and Supply Store. We've got a special announcement. If you adopt two puppies, we'll throw in any one other pet for free. This special deal is only available for the next week. So come to Happy Pet, Pet and Supply Store and start your new animal family today. That sounds like the worst idea. Oh yeah, let me just wrangle two puppies while I try and keep this parrot from eating them. Who thought this was a good idea? Uh, Apparently nobody, since there's a notice written underneath this. Happy Pet and Pet Supply Store is recalling their ad. Supposed to buy... Supposed to be buy two bags of puppy food and get a dog toy for free. There's no way that was just a typo. This absolutely reeks of ineptitude and poor planning. Seems like they tried to cover it up. We've got ourselves a 200-year-old mystery on our hands, dear listeners. Will this be important in the future? No. No, it will not. Let's move on. Because that's all for the ads today. Bit of a shame that we're not actually getting money for these. You know, maybe I could talk the merchants into buying some ad space. Might be worth looking into. Eh, whatever. You know, I really should try and come up with some more segments. What could I talk about? Oh, I've got it. (laughs) We'll call this one, uh... (laughs) What's under my skin? You know what's eating me? And no, 
It's not mites this time, thank goodness. No, what's under my skin is these raiders. These jackholes come running up every day, high on God knows what, pelting us with bullets, and rocks, and the occasional grenade, trying to kill us. And for what? Everything we've got. The stuff we got with our own two hands, and in most cases, a fair bit of elbow grease. All because they don't want to go out and find their own. Now, I've been kicking around here for 200 years, and I've seen countless raiders and slavers. Oh, don't even get me started on slavers. But that's where they get started. And they realize that getting their own things is too hard, so they force someone else to do it. Ugh. But raiders, that's what's bothering me today. I've been shot at and chased by more raiders than I can count, and they never change. Shakedowns. If you're lucky, they might not shoot you, but most raiders I dealt with have been more of the shoot first, loot the corpse later kind of schmucks. Barring them, you've got some real psychos out there. Like this one guy I ran into years ago, LaFoot. The guy had a thing for taking people's feet, just their feet. Took their feet, made them into armor, and worst of all, tires for a cart that he used to carry, you guessed it, more feet. But when they're not out terrorizing people and testing the boundaries of man-made vehicles made of men, they're at their camps, torturing captives, and breaking things. Like radio equipment, for example. Because if they don't understand it, they don't need it. And so many of these raiders are kids, maybe no older than 16, just throwing their lives away, hurting people before sending themselves and others to an early grave. I don't get it. <sighs> we here at the station and among its supporters, the Dashwoods, are trying to make this wasteland a little more comfortable for everybody. And if you would l just learn to play nice, you could get on it, get in on this action too. <sighs> but I digress. Just, I don't know, don't shoot your neighbor if you don't want to be shot, I guess. <sighs> well, that rant there kind of took it out of me. <sighs> But I think it's safe to call it a show. Remember, folks, we're still looking for people to join us out here at the station. Maybe in time we'll have a proper name for this plot of land, but all in due time. Remember to keep your friends close and your guns closer when you're out on the road, and always keep a knife in your boot. Good evening, dear listeners. This has been Wasteland Active Radio. Crispy, signing off. Wasteland Active Radio is created, written, and produced by Z. Hagen and Jay Wilson, brought to you by the record button. Wasteland Active Radio is set in the Fallout video game universe owned by ZeniMax Media and Bethesda Actually, Song. you know what? One more thing about Raiders. I get that you're all filthy and live in squalor, but when there are no rules, the whole world is your bathroom. So why did you use my fridge as a toilet? Oh, is that too much? No copyright infringement is intended. Please support the official release. Thank you. An additional note, the song that you're currently listening to, Lobby Time, is by Kevin McLeod at Incomputech.com. Licensed under Creative Commons, Attribution 3.0.